Hi. In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest Load Runner Professional and View Gen releases. First up, you can now add steady bit experiments to your controller scenario schedule. Steadybit provides an on-prem solution for integrating chaos testing into your test runs. The new user interface for the output messages window provides easier viewing and filtering for your test run messages. The updated UI is available in both controller and analysis. Next up, there are now three dedicated graphs for Silk Performer scripts. The new graphs are available in controller and analysis, displaying measurements collected from Silk counters and timers. When working with network virtualization, you can now open the NV Insights report from analysis. This report shows you how your application performs over different networks. The Citrix protocol has two new APIs to move or resize a window. Both functions use the unique window ID to identify the window. Moving on to the DevWeb protocol, which now includes support for bidirectional streaming RPC requests. This new API brings full support for gRPC to DevWeb scripts. Also for DevWeb, this release includes expanded pacing options to control the timing for script actions. You can now apply delay or interval pacing, using fixed or random values. And finally, the new features for the .NET Plus protocol include code autocomplete in the ViewGen editor. There is also a shared libraries page in the runtime settings, giving access to non-local reference DLLs. Check out the help centers to learn more, and enjoy the new Load Runner Professional release.